Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Ankit Thakur, a bioinformatician, and today I will guide you through the process of installing IQ Tray 2 on Linux and demonstrate how to run basic phylogenetic analysis, including ultra fast bootstrap and transfer bootstrap expectation support measures. Before we begin, remember your sequences must be aligned before running IQ Tree. If you haven't aligned your sequences yet, please watch my previous video on installing and running MAFT for sequence alignment. The link is in the description. Make sure to check that out first if you need help with alignment. Open your terminal. Uh, first, update your system. For that, you have to type sudo apt get update and press enter type your password and hit enter and wait for some time after that to install iq tree using your package manager simply run sudo apt get install iq tree this will take some time after that you can run iq tree from anywhere in your terminal I have already installed using this command. If you prefer to download the binary, you can download the latest Linux uh, Linux release from IQtree website. For example, you have to visit this website and you can download the Linux version whichever you want or you can download this tool for Windows or Mac also. IQ tree requires a multiple sequence alignment as uh, input. If uh, input file formats such as uh, file uh, file FASTA or Nexus. Again, if your sequences are not aligned, please refer to my earlier MAF tutorial for a step-by-step -step guide. To infer a maximum likelihood tree with uh, automatic model selection, use the given command uh, first i have to change the directory to iq tree tutorial now here you can see that i have one file and the name is alignment file dot fasta so in this manner you should have a file which is aligned and this one is the multiple sequence alignment file in fasta format so to run iq tree you can simply type iq tree minus s s flag means you have to provide the input path for the sequence so my sequence is in the same directory so i can type alignment the file name and now i can press enter S sorry we have to type iq tree 2 because the latest version is iq tree 2 whenever you will give the this command to install iq tree you will automatically uh, download or inst install the iq tree 2 version of uh, this tool now you can press enter and iq tree 2 is running and it is automatically finding the best model so best nucleotide substitution model for your uh, alignment so it will take some time to complete so for that you have to wait now our analysis is completed you can watch uh, or see the output files for example i have multiple files here but uh, this file contains the log this is the log file which contains all the data or all the logs during the run this is the checkpoint file if you have uh, some power cut issue or your uh, simulations has been stopped by somehow you can restart your simulation uh, sorry your uh, phylogenetic tree construction from the point where it was left the next file is iq tree this contains 
tree file but uh, the file that we want is alignment file dot faster dot tree file because this file contains uh, sport values for uh, uh, the branches I will ex explain these file movements to you later but uh, to run ultra fast bootstrap let's create another folder mpdir ultra fast bootstrap so now that i have this folder you will be i will run the ultra fast bootstrap here so first of all let's copy this file into this folder for that you have to type cp alignment dot fasta into ufb now we can change directory to the ufb folder and we can see that we have our alignment file again now we don't want to run basic analysis but we want ultra fast bootstrap for our sequences so for that you can type iq tree 2 minus s alignment faster then you can also specify the models for example gtr but if you don't know which model should be used for your sequences you can type here mfp it will automatically find the best model for you for your sequences and uh, after that you can specify the number of bootstrap using dash capital b flag and uh, then type the number of bootstrap replicates for example i want 100 ultra fast bootstraps i have so for that i i write here minus b and 100 then press enter and uh, uh, for ultra fast bootstraps we should have uh, at least 1000 bootstrap values or more so now these are 1000 and press enter now again it will take some time to complete so in our command the minus s specifies your alignment file or the path to the alignment file minus m that we wrote in our command uh, is for to set the evolutionary model like uh, gtr and uh, minus or this capital dash b is for ultra fast bootstrap replicates now we can see that uh, we have some output files here these are all the files where this is the file which contains the maximum likelihood tree for downstream process and uh, transfer bootstrap expectation is more robust bootstrap support matrix especially for large trees to, com to compute transfer bootstrap expectation uh, with iq tree 2 use the dash dash tbe flag for example to run ultra uh, transfer bootstrap we have to create another folder tbe so now we will copy our initial alignment file into the into this folder so cp alignment our alignment file into the tbe folder then change the direct directory to tbe and uh, we can see that we have this file in the tbe folder so now we can type iq tree 2 and specify our alignment file after that we have to uh, uh, give the uh, number of specify the number of bootstrap now use minus b this is small b not capital and specify the number of transfer bootstrap expectations score uh, that we want 100 transfer bootstrap transfer bootstraps and then type dash dash tbe and press enter 
so now this is running it is going to be complete soon so let's wait for some time also we can see that how many cpus are working for that i type h top and uh, we can see that this is the iq tree to command and uh, it is taking only one cpu where this command is using only one cpu or one core actually the one thread and that's why it is very slow i have total 15 plus zeroth thread i have total 16 threads in my system so i can give more threads to this process so let's terminate this process because it is very time consuming now see what we have a little minus t okay rm alignment star ls now we have this file and we can give the same command with one another option option that is minus t a u t o it will automatically select the number of threads that we that we that are required for this file so now press enter measuring multi threading efficiency you up to 16 cpu cores increasing to 10 rounds for branch length now it will take more cpus it is preparing our file thread this is thread 1 simultaneously this is using multiple threads this is one thread and wait this is using three threads iq tree to iq tree to iq tree to so it is automatically assigning the number of threads that are needed for our system I will pause the video and uh, show you the results. So, at the end of transfer bootstrap expectation, we have these much files. And guys, this video is taking too much time. So, I will explain you all the formats in the next tutorial which will be the advanced tutorial for running IQ tree 2, but uh, the question is which file should you use for tree visualization for most users the tree file the dot tree file is the best choice because it contains your final tree with branch support values from ultra fast bootstrap or transfer bootstrap expectations and it's compatible with most of the viewing tools to visualize your results you can install the fig tree or you can view this tree in itol itol is a web server but for now we are visualizing this file using fig tree i will explain how to install and run fig tree in the next videos now you can see that we have our phylogenetic tree we can see this in this format we can visualize in this format also and there are uh, multiple options for visualization so that's it for today's tutorial you have learned how to install iq tree 2 and run basic phylogenetic analysis and interpret ultra fast and boot and uh, transfer bootstrap expectation sports don't forget to align your sequences first using maft 
refer to my previous video if you haven't done so already if uh, if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and leave your questions in the comments below see you in the next video